Ladies and gentlemen, it's a sad day. It's the first day in a long, long time that Jay's just not here. Jay's at home. He's editing this r right now. Well, not right now, but he's editing this. He's seeing me right now, but he's not here. He's not with me. It's just solo dolo Sean today, ladies and gentlemen. And it's sad. So you know what would help me feel a little bit better? Smash the like button. <laughs> I mean, come on, please, please. I gotta do this all on my own again. You know, I'm back at the 2015 Sean. But today we have some interesting products to unbox. If you guys remember about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, we did a video where we bought all of the smartphones that we could find on Amazon. Well, maybe not all, cause that'd be like 500. But we bought a bunch of them and compared them to see what kind of smartphones you could get off Amazon for a decent price. Could you get something good? Do you not need to ball out, spend a thousand dollars every time a new iPhone drops? The answer to that is, is definitely yes, by the way. But we're just gonna see what some of the options are. And with it being a new year, 2021, one, I figured why not hop back on Amazon, buy a bunch more of the smartphones and compare them again. And if you guys want to see us continue this in 2021, we could buy all the AirPods, all the AirPod Pros and all of the other products that we compared in the past. But you know, it's a new year. So potentially new products, maybe they got better. Maybe they got worse. I don't know. So if you guys want to see that, smash the like button. If we can get 20,000 likes on this video, Jay will come out of quarantine. I don't know if that's allowed but it'll happen and we will come back with this series continued but with that being said let's see what our first phone is all right guys before we continue i need to tell you about today's sponsor shop tagger as you guys know ps5s have been pretty much impossible to get your hands on lately so i've been using shop tagger to keep me updated with whenever the ps5 comes back in stock on best buy basically you download the shop tagger chrome extension or the app on your phone obviously i already have it and now whenever you see an item that you want for example the iPhone 12 came out. You know what that means? The iPhone 11 is probably going to drop in price at some point in the near future. So I'm going to go on the Apple site. I'm going to go to the iPhone 11 and I'm going to save this. As you see right here, shop tag or tag pops open on the right hand side of your screen. So for example, you could do 25% off, 50% off. In this case, it's Apple. So let's be real. It's not going to go to 50% off, but any price change, let me know. I can also add it to my tech list right here. Then you can go to the shop tagger dashboard. You can see your list. As you can see here, Besides the phone that I just added, I also have a graphics card because I'm trying to upgrade my computer and graphics cards are pretty much impossible to get your hands on these days. So this way Shop Tiger will notify me when it comes back in stock. On top of that, if you have the Chrome extension installed and you're out shopping, Shop Tiger scans for coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. So it's basically free money. And if that's not enough, Shop Tiger also just introduced a new cash back feature. So now you can earn cash through pay PayPal while shopping with select retail partners. So if you're anything like me and you're doing a lot of online shopping these days, be sure to check out Shop Tagger. Download it for both your computer and your phone to make sure you're saving as much money as possible. All right, we've got an LG phone here, I believe. This is the LG Stylo 5, 32 gigabytes, comes with the phone. We've got a worry-free guarantee, a charging uh, brick, cable, and pin. Now this phone was $199 Canadian, so it's not super cheap, but it's decently cheap. I mean, it looks pretty nice, I would say. We got a, oh. Oh, you know, this doesn't quite feel the same without Jay here fighting me for it, but it's still going to be good. Ah! Okay, right off the bat, I want to say aesthetically, I actually really like this phone. I think it's it's very clean, smooth, simple design. It feels a little slow compared to my iPhone right now. So far, feels pretty smooth. I like what we're getting right here for 200 bucks. That's one fifth of the price of my iPhone, which is insane. Okay, first thing we got to check, of course, the camera. How is it? Let's see. Ah! It's not bad. It's actually pretty solid. For a $200 phone, it's got AI cam. I don't even know what that is. We got auto, we got food. You wanna take a photo of your food? You can do that. I mean, you could You could always do that. Panorama, YouTube Live. That's pretty cool. Let's see what the reverse, oh. It's, you know, it's okay. The thing is, I do want to kind of mention when we buy phones off Wish compared to Amazon, because that's a little bit of what we're doing right here. Oh my God, what are you making noises? We get phones for like a hundred bucks off Wish, maybe sometimes 150. These are knockoff iPhones, other phones. But most of the time, the phones we get off Wish have literal potatoes for cameras. Like I swear, it, it's crazy how bad they are. This isn't great, but it is way better than that, okay? You could actually tell what you're taking a photo of. We've said in the 
past, you could take a picture of me and you wouldn't know if it was me or Jay. If that's not an indicator as to whether or not that phone is not a very good phone, I don't know what else to tell you. But with that being said, this camera, not bad. Is it gonna blow anyone away? No, but it works. It does the job. We got a 6.2 inch display, 1080 by 2160, 13 megapixel camera, three gigabytes of RAM, a Snapdragon 450, and a 3500 milliwatt amp hour battery. Pretty decent stuff. Nothing crazy, but decent. Oh, that's what you're paying for, folks. When it comes to actual specs, you could probably get a phone for the same price with better specs. But do you get a pen? I've actually never been someone to use a pen with my phone. It just has seemed unnecessary. I don't know, but let me know if you guys have enjoyed it. I can see the appeal, especially if you're like over 65. No roast. I'm not roasting. I, maybe a little bit, but like it, Jay probably uses a, 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 a stylus. Jay's not even here to defend himself anymore. This is great. Anyways, it is kind of cool. It's, it makes it easier to use in a way, but if you ever want to use your phone with just one hand, well, you, you obviously can. You need two hands. Could you do that? Yeah, no, see, not really, you need two hands. It's just a nice little addition of a feature. I wonder if we'll ever see an iPhone with a stylus. So I would love to see a flip iPhone. I think that would be really cool. Okay, next up, we've got the Honor 9X light now this phone was 239 canadian dollars so a little bit more expensive than our lg phone and let's see what we get for that extra 30 bucks folks is it worth it let me know what you guys think we got a 48 megapixel camera four gigabytes of ram a pantella full view 6.5 inch display and a 3750 milliwatt amp hour battery and most importantly a lovely little screen for us to peel Ooh, that was nice. Oh, it comes with a case. We got the pin. How many people actually rock the clear case that comes with these phones? I mean, I guess if you're looking to buy a budget phone, you're also probably not looking to spend $50 on a case to protect that phone. So I think in that way, it does make sense that they include a cheap clear case that you can use with your with your phone. Uh, we've got a charging brick here, charging cable, and a headphones. Oh my God. Folks, when you go with the budget, somehow you get way more than when you go with the expensive. If you guys haven't noticed, the uh, the Samsung Galaxy 21, they just did a big event. No more charger, no more no more brick. They, they roasted Apple and then basically did the same thing, which is not entirely unexpected because they've done that before, but obviously very interesting every time they do. But anyways, let's fire this bad boy up. All right, back to uh, taking a few minutes. So what uh, what state is your city in right now? Are you guys in lockdown? Are you in, have a, Do you have a stay at home order like I do? Are you in Australia and your life is literally back to normal? Like, why can't we all be like, Australia. Oh, it's uh, who, who wait. Why? How do you pronounce this? Why? It's probably like why. You guys are gonna butcher me in the comment section. I know it. By the way, guys, we are working on the eBay store. I know a lot of you after our Amazon palette video were like, hey, where's the eBay store link? We weren't able to get it up in time, but I do wanna start basically selling all the stuff we get from these videos back to you guys for way less than we paid for it because, well, a lot of it just ends up sitting in here and it's hard for us to figure out ways to give back to you guys. So if you guys wanna see us add all of these phones or any of these phones or potentially do a giveaway with them, let me know in the comments section down below but we've got this bad boy fired up first things first of course the camera mm, okay i would say this is a little bit better i don't actually know uh the the specs of it i know i read it but i forgot them i'm just giving you what my eyes are telling me okay so maybe my eyes are lying you really need uh decent lighting for this you can crank up the beauty levels put them up to 10 for your boy what's wrong with it again for 239 bucks like this is gonna do so many things that you want it to do from a phone standpoint compared to a thousand plus for an iphone the more and more i test out budget phones the more i realize how much we're getting not necessarily ripped off but just like how unnecessary it is to buy those extremely expensive phones aesthetically i think i prefer the lg and you do get the stylus which is you know kind of cool i guess whatever we're not doing any like hard power tests of this right now and i'm sure it would fail most of them because it is a budget smartphone you know you're not using this as like your pro gaming rig phone that you smack all the kids in call of duty on that's not what these are for these are just for everyday simple use not for power users but both seem pretty solid let's see what our next phone is okay our first samsung galaxy j3 prime now if you guys remember we also got a samsung galaxy s9 in our amazon return palette if you haven't checked that video be sure to check it out and in the previous one we got a samsung galaxy s10 they're not like the best versions of the samsung's but it's still always very exciting i was like concerningly excited each time we got those oh yeah, yeah! okay so this is our cheapest phone it's 139 dollars canadian dollars so almost 100 bucks us 
nonetheless. It is a Samsung phone, so you do get that brand. Feels old as hell. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Battery comes separate. I have honestly never gotten a product like this. And then the uh, back plate is separate. It's very interesting that they all came separate. Helps make it cheaper. I have no clue what the point of that is, but just comes with the brick and charging cable. That's it. This one actually had a four star rating on Amazon. It was one of the highest rated smartphones. You know, in all likelihood, I'm just really stupid and not able to figure out how to turn this phone on, but it probably needs a charge. I was correct, folks. Just needs a charge. So we're gonna check out our next phone. Oh, -ho! we've got the Nokia 2 came in at 146 Canadian, a little bit smaller, closer in size to the, to the Samsung that we were just testing. Does come completely assembled and at least somewhat charged. We also have the classic charging brick and headphones still included. Oh, there we go. Ah! Uh! Okay, so the Nokia, 4,100 milliwatt amp hour battery. So a little bit larger battery, and which is interesting too, because it's actually a smaller phone. Five inch HD LTPS display, Qualcomm Snapdragon 212 processor, and eight megapixel rear camera, five megapixel front camera. So again, sacrificing a little bit in terms of specs. I do like the look of this. This might be my favorite looking phone, especially when you consider what, well, I guess everybody uses these for something different, but me personally, if I were to get one of these phones to actually use. I feel like it would be something I would grab when I'm going, you know, traveling somewhere and I don't want to bring my really expensive phone with me or something along those lines. And in that situation, I really want bare bones and cheap and small. And that's what this does. Also guys, I have been on the prowl trying to find knockoff AirPods Max. Cause obviously, as you guys know from this channel, there were so many knockoff AirPods and AirPods Pros. And it was a really cool video to do. And I really want to do one on some fake AirPods Maxes, but I just can't find them. I get that it's probably quite a bit more complicated to replicate them. But if you guys know where I can find some, please let me know in the comment section down below. I've been checking all over Wish. All right, we're in. What relatively responsive. It's a little bit slower than what you would be used to on a flagship device, but overall it's not terrible. Let's check the camera. I'm guessing we're gonna, this is gonna look pretty rough. Yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Nothing uh, amazing. You know, you're not taking any crazy photos for your IG with this. You're just sending pictures to your mom because she wants updates about what you're doing. That's kind of the vibe I get with these cameras. You know what I mean? Like moms, they love seeing what you're doing. They don't give a shit if it's in 4K or the best looking quality. They basically just want you to text them. Does feel a little bit slower now that I'm using it. But again, that's, that's what you expect, you know? You're not expecting lightning fast speeds. You're just getting something functional that you can use. I, I do like this phone in terms of the look and uh, it was really cheap. 150 Canadian is not bad at all. This is our last phone and it is our second most expensive coming in at 200 dollars. This is the new mobile G3 new spell NUU 5.7 inch display 2.39 gigahertz octa core CPU rear and dual camera 13 megapixel and 5 megapixel front camera 13 megapixel dual sim standby four gigabytes of RAM and a three oh only a 3000 milliwatt amp hour battery. So it's a little bit smaller battery and considering it's on the bigger end of our phones. That's interesting. Bang the new mobile. I don't know why, but NU, it just makes me think of nude. I can't help it. The new mobile. I mean, the new is not really giving me super good vibes right now. This feels like a phone I bought off AliExpress, but hey, uh, I'm not going to judge just yet. We've got the specs on here again. Fingerprint, blah, blah, blah. Standard shit that you find on all of these. Oh, it comes ready for liftoff. Mintmobile.com. Cool. Wow. That's exciting. Get a few add-ons, baby. Includes three months of service. Look at that value, folks. Got the brick, the ear phones, the charging port, all that fun stuff. Oh, this is a USB-C. That's interesting. I do like the color. I, I think it's a nice little color. The back of the phone looks pretty clean. It's much slimmer than our other phones. Like these phones are well, this is smaller, but it's slimmer too, which is kind of interesting. I feel like this was a trend that was about to happen and then did it. Does that make sense? We need to charge you too. This is the smallest charger I've ever seen in my goddamn life. What? What? Okay. They've got a longer one. All right, let's charge this phone. We'll also check our last phone that we had charging and see where that's at. All right, folks, our Samsung is 5% charged. So we're gonna fire this up, take a quick look. I have high hopes. Can they knock it out the park with the budget phones and the flagship devices? Also guys, if you wanna see me unbox the new flagship devices, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, I had high hopes for this, but I feel like just the feel of the phone already for 10 bucks more, the Nokia seems like a better deal. Interface feels nicer. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't wanna jump to conclusions right away, okay? But it's not looking promising. This does feel really small in my hands now. Like, 
Weirdly. All right, guys, I'm gonna add another idea here. We always review more on the on the budget end when we do these videos, when I buy all the smartphones off Amazon, I buy all the uh, smartphones off Wish. If you guys wanna see me buy the most expensive phones we can find on Amazon, I need you to smash the like button. We get 25,000 likes on this video. Not only will Jay magically appear back in the next video, I don't know, that one's debatable, but I'm gonna do everything in my power to make it happen. We will also go on Amazon and do a part two where we buy the high-end phones and we compare those instead of just the budget phones because I'm sure you guys are curious about those too. Okay, let's see the camera. Pretty comparable. I know there's slight differences in terms of the specs for all these cameras, but honestly, it's not a huge difference. It's really minor, like really minor. They're just, none of them are amazing, but all of them get the job done. It's all right. It's all right. And considering it's the cheapest phone, that's not bad. It does feel a little bit cheaper. That's the one thing that I will say. The Nokia feels more sturdy. Feels like if you dropped it, it would probably survive better than this Samsung. The backplate would probably fly off and you might lose it. Uh, these other two phones are a little bit more expensive, but you are getting a little bit more for your money. And they are still relatively cheap when you compare them to some of the other phones on the market. All right, we've got the new phone all set up. More of the same. Honestly, a lot more of the same. Feels okay. Nothing crazy, nothing bad. It's really more of an aesthetic difference. I feel like compared to a lot of the, like between all these phones, what do you like the best? Uh, the camera seems pretty much the exact same as the other ones. A few more options in terms of settings, which is kind of nice. And considering this one is the second most expensive, I don't know that you're really getting that much more value here. Like this phone's like 60, 70 bucks cheaper and you know, a lot of similar features a lot of similar specs, so I don't know if I would say this is better, but if you like the look and the feel, then sure, go for it. Overall, what did we learn today? Well, you're probably overpaying for the phone you have right now. All of these are pretty decent phones for way, way, way cheaper, and you know what you could do with that money? I don't know, invest it in something, buy some Bitcoin, it'll probably go up, you'll probably make more money, and then use that to buy your iPhone down the road. That way too much time in lockdown, I just watched way too much about crypto. But anyways, let me know if anyone's in the same boat as I am. I'm gonna actually say the best phone that I like the most was our Nokia right here. I think it's pretty solid. The worst phone, I don't know if I have a worst phone. I haven't really used them. These are just first impressions. I'm not using these for like a whole week, so it's hard to really say. But I think the Nokia is my favorite in terms of the feel, the look, and the performance, and the value. I'm just feeling the Nokia vibes, you know? It just, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you wanna see a part two where we buy the most expensive smartphones off Amazon. Be sure to smash the like button. And uh, if I provided you with absolutely zero useful information today, be sure to smash the like button because I know most of you probably weren't looking to buy these phones anyways. I hope you guys are staying safe. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Toodles.